we will now set up this page and create the basic structure. We start with this blank page, which has the current HTML code. This is just a very minimum set of HTML code. We have the duct type tag, the HTML tag, and the head element with the meta tag with the character set and the meta tag to making this responsive with the right uh, zooming size. Then we have the title. So now we want to install the Bulma framework and the font awesome icon font framework. So first we go to the Bulma.io website and we'll click the download button and download this zip file. Then we'll also go to the fundawesome.com website and click the download free button to download that zip file. This will give you these two files. So first we'll unzip the Bulma zip file, open the folder, and in the CSS folder we'll find the Bulma.css file. So we'll drag that down to our CSS folder, like so. Now we can just erase this download again. Then we'll open our Font Awesome folder and we want to use the SVG with JavaScript solution. You can use different solutions here. So in the JS folder we take the Font awesome all dot min and we move it down to our JS folder. Now we can delete these two again, like so. In our code editor, we now need to reference these two files. So after our title tag, we create a link tag with the rel attribute with the value style sheet and the href attribute with the value css.bulma.css. We'll close it again. Then we create a script tag with the defer attribute and the source attribute with the value js.font.awesome all dot min dot js and remember we need to close this script tag this is just an empty tag now we have installed the bulma style sheet and the font awesome script then let's create our basic structure we start with a section element with the class section to provide some padding all around of our page. Then inside this we create a div tag with the class container to give the content a max width. Now we want to create our grid layout. We start with the div tag with the class columns. And then we add the modifier class is desktop so it won't break into two columns until a certain width. Now we want to create the two columns inside. So we add another div tag with the class column and then we specify the width is two thirds desktop. So this will now become two thirds of the width for desktop. And we create one more div tag with the class column and the size will be is one third desktop. We'll save this, and go back into the browser and refresh our page. We can't see nothing yet, but if we open up our developer tools, we can see that we have no errors. So everything should be working right. We can even right click this, these links. This is for our style sheet and the other link. 
for our script for the icons. So as we can see, everything is correct setup. 